The building was said to have tumbled down as the construction workers were on site, burying five dead and injuring dozens others. Emergency teams swung into action to try and rescue those trapped beneath the rubble, but after two days of search, rescue mission was called off today. And with City Council on the spot for allowing such buildings to be erected in marshland, local government minister Mosalia Mudavadi came to the defense of City Hall and instead throwed the blame to court. Under the prevailing circumstances, the City Council cannot be blamed for the recent tragedy owing to the fact that its hands have been tied by the earlier restraining orders issued on 8th April 2009. These have made it impossible for the council to move in and demolish the illegal structures. He said City Hall was aware of the dangerous state of the building owned by the late Joseph Maingi Muraidi, but was stopped from demolishing it. Mudavadi also hit at Nairobians, saying that they have not been helpful when it comes to enforce the building codes and often side with unscrupulous developers when such buildings are threatened with demolition. The public has, on a number of occasions, risen to protect the developers who violate the law and rights of the citizens. This is unfortunate given that these are the people who ultimately use the unauthorized developments without assurance of safety, habitability and reliability. He said many buildings in this city are death traps and Kenyans should take charge of their lives, warning that the government will henceforth hold owners of such structures accountable. Yasmin Ali reporting for the news at nine.